Good afternoon everyone and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Today we're going to do a revision on the number section of the Year 9 and Year 10 exam. We will look at the word problems and let's go! Okay, so the first question is, in the recent exam, Jono obtained 81 marks out of a possible 120. What is his marks in percentages? So 81 out of 120, that is a fraction. To convert into a percentage, you just multiply by 100, so you get 67.5. That will give you a mark in the exam. Not too bad, right? Yeah, no. The next one. Tim works at the supermarket after school. This week, his pay rate has increased from $12.40 to $13.20. Calculate the percentage increase in his pay rate. So if you have percentage change, percentage increase, percentage gain, it's always this formula change over original times 100. So the change from 1240 to 1320 is 80 cents, so 0 0.80. Original amount is 1240. You multiply by 100, put in your calculator, is 6.45%. So that will give you two marks in the first two questions. So we look at the third word problem. Okay, in 2010, there were 420 year nine students at Valley Happy High School. In the next year, 2011, there was an increase of 5% in the year 9 school row. How many year 9 students are there in the school in 2011? So, originally it was 100%, increase of 5%, it becomes 105. So, to calculate 105 over 100 is 1.05 times the original amount 420. Put in your calculator, there are now 441 students. Great, good. Okay, next one. Pam bought 5 kg of flour. She used 1 quarter to bake a cake. How many kg did she have left? So if she used 1 quarter, she has left with 3 quarters. So 3 quarter of 5 kg, put in your calculator, 3 quarter times 5 kg is 3.75 kg left. Okay, so let's go to the next two questions. Now we're going to get a bit harder now, okay? So, 40% of the students are girls. What is the ratio of number of boys to the total number of pupils in the class? So boys, is 60% because 100% minus 40% is 60%. So they ask you to find the ratio to the total number of pupils in the class. So 60% for boys over 100 because the boys and girls is 100%. Simplify them, divide by 10, get 6 over 10, and simplify further, divide by 2, 3 is to 5. Okay, great, good. Now the next question. The price of a replica all black jersey was advertised as $145, including GST. What is the price of the jersey before GST? So if you look at my previous video, this include GST, include GST, and sorry, this is plus GST and include GST. If you are from here to here, you multiply by 1.15. If you are include GST, you want to find before GST, you divide by 1.15. So now we are on this side, $145, and you want to Find the price before GST, so 145 divided by 1.15, and the answer is $126.09. Okay? Great. Okay, now we look at question 7. Okay? Paul earned $600 after stack in the school holiday. He spent one third of the money he earned on accessories on the car. He spent one fifth on food and one eighth on entertainment. So you add all the fraction together, one third plus one fifth and one eight, they come up to 79 over 120, okay? So he banks the rest, so one minus this fraction will give you 41 over 120, and originally if he has $600, so you can take 41 over 120 times 600, and that is the amount he banked, that's $205, okay? Great. Okay, this question always appear and most people get it wrong, okay? So John paid $12.90 for a fiction book after getting a 15% discount. What was the original price of the book? So he bought at 85% because it was a 15% discount. So 85% is $12.90. So you find for 1%, 1% is $12.90 divided by 85. That comes up with 0.1517. So now, because you want to find the original, what is the original price? is always the 100%. The price of a book is always 100%. So 100% is 0 0.1517 multiplied by 100. It gives you $15.17. So this question will always appear in the exam. Okay, last but not least, the hardest of the law. Okay? Two-fifths of the fruit in the store were oranges. One quarter were kiwi fruits and the rest were apple. So you first add 
because they say the total number of oranges and kiwi fruit was 2006. So this fraction plus this fraction will give you 13 over 20. Put in your calculator. 13 over 20 is going to be 2,600 because they say oranges and kiwi fruit add up to 2,006. So you need to find 120. 120 is 2,006 divided by 13, 200. And how many apples are there? If there are 13, 20 oranges and kiwi fruit, there will be 7 over 20 because the rest were apples. So 7 over 20 were apples. So one part is 200, 7 parts are going to be 200 times 7 is 1,400. And that will give you the final two marks in the exam. So hopefully, go to the exam again and practice hard. Good luck for your exam and see you soon. Everyone, cheers.